So let's analyze the this recurrence. Okay, so let's look at how, how the recurrent works again. So you have an input of size n, and then uh, let me make it a little bit uh, larger. That, okay, an input of size n. And then uh, in merge sort, you sort of split them and then uh, recurse like that. Okay, so you rec recurse on this basically and you split them and you recurse on this smaller thing. And you split them again and you recurse on this. And suppose you're done with this, you come back and then you recurse on this smaller thing and you come back. And you merge, and you get the result of this, and then you come back, and then you recurse on that. And then you get okay. There are some other levels after this. So, but this this should give you some idea, okay? And and this this expression, this recurrence, say that the running time for solving for sorting n elements, okay, is at most twice the running time for sorting n over two elements. Because we have these two uh, subproblems, this and that, okay, and then um, and then the, this C n is the time to merge them, okay. All right. So how are we gonna figure out the solving this? So there are many ways to uh, directly solve this, but we we, we we will look at that when we talk about. Um, uh, master theorems and, and how, how to solve this. But let's try to think about this in terms of the running time of merge sort. Okay, so how, how, how are you going to analyze this? So let me, before we continue, let me uh, write the size of the problems here, n. So this is, uh, say, n over 2. So this is n over 4. Sorry, it's, is it readable? Okay, so n over 2. N over four. So for this, this is n over eight. And if you keep on, we could, you're gonna get n over sixteen. And at the end, you have it's a problem of size eight, size one. Okay. Um, and 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 you if you look look at the running time for the whole algorithms, it's the running time on this part plus the running time on that part. Okay. And you also have another plus c n at this point plus C n. Okay, so if we want to count the, all the running time, we can do it li like this. Okay, so we we may want to take a look at, um, so the, the total running time of this is, is C n, this C n, plus the running time inside these uh, subproblems. Okay, and if you look at these subproblems, okay, the structure of the running time is the same. Okay, so you you spend some time on these two smaller subproblems, and then you you spend the time linear in the number of element in this elements in this subproblem. So this is plus n over two as well. Okay, here each subproblem uh, spend times on its smaller subproblems, and in and in itself it spend time n over four. Okay, so instead of trying to do everything at the same time. We can uh, do something like this. So we might try to account for the running time on each level of recursion separately. Okay, let me draw this yellow line. Okay, so what it means by so I forget C N here, but uh, if you look at this in the first level, you have one sub problem, one problem of size n. So the running time is C N. Okay, here we have two subproblems, each of size n over 2, all right? So you have uh, two subproblems. Each subproblem is of size n over 2. So the running time for each subproblem is at most cn over 2. And this is cn, OK? In this level, OK, if we uh, split them all out, so we're going to have for subproblem of size n over 4. So we're going to have the running time we spent on the merge at this level. Okay, we, there, we, there are four subproblems. And then there are n over 4th e 
each. So the running time on this sub problem is C n over 4 times 4. So it's again C n. And if we look at this, we, we, we can see that there's a pattern here. So this recurrence has some special, some special structure. If you look at this, the time we spend on each uh, recurrent rec recursion level is, is the same. Okay, it's Cn. So if we somehow sum them all up, we know we will get the running time of the algorithms. Okay, so the the problem now is 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 this is uh, so we need to for each level we we pay we spend time Cn. So my question is, is this how many levels? How many levels do we have? Okay. Now, if you look carefully, in the first level we have uh, n elements. Its problem is of size n. In the second level is n over two, n over, and then n over four, n over eight. We and 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 when do we stop? So we stop when. The problem size is of size one. Okay, so the number of levels is how many levels do we have? Okay, so the size keep decreasing. Okay, in the first level you have a problem of size n. In the second level you have n over two. So basically, in the ith level you have an element of size uh, and sub problems of size n over. 2 to the i minus 1. So how many levels? It's the question this is the same question as uh, how big how big should i be so that n over 2 to the i minus 1 is at most 1. Okay. So the answer of this is is log, right? Lock in maybe one plus lock in something like that. So you have uh, so how many levels do we have? So we have basically uh, all of lock in levels. Okay. So since so we, we we can figure out the running time now. Since there are so let me write it small here. So there are all of lock in levels and we spend C in each. So the total running time is oh, lock in times C in. So this is O oh, N lock in as claim. So we when we talk about um, divine conquer algorithms we will look at this uh, analysis more and more. We, 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 there will be a lot of examples of how to analyze this, but uh, I think this should give you the idea on when we think about recursive algorithms. So uh, that's it. So merge sort, run in times uh, in O of n log n, and, and that's it. Thank you.